Is this a six suit or what? No? Looks sweet. Yeah, thank you. I'm not gonna look like Jake and Rico looks like he's going to a bar <laughs> Who looks the best? What? Yeah, different grades. That's how you fucking wear it. Nah, some people do. It's not crazy. Close up. No, I've seen this. That's just how you wear a suit. Not everything has to be black on black. These people don't. These two are telling me about style. It's crazy. He said he needs 15 minutes to put a suit on. That's insane. Oh, yeah. oh, the ball ball. Ball. Come on. You gotta keep the ball. I think, I think it looks better for the back. That's more douchey. I think you look like Kendall Roy. That was cool. It looks so much cooler. Back no, I, I hate that. Please, for the love of God, put it forward. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be more of a douchebag. <laughs> How you feeling? Good. Excited? I'm gonna grill Greenberg. Any questions? Hey, Seth, how come you're out of conference schedule? was uh, 294th. In 2009, and then you cried about not making the tournament. You fucking baby. I feel like I'm babysitting then. It's their first time at a game at, with media credentials. Jake, but I think you look the best. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that checkout. Yeah. Professional right there. They're trying to rush me, but like, I gotta look nice. Look at him. New York Lions. Yeah, I will always check the lights. How can you turn the lights on there? Yeah. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm trying to make sure everything looks fine. You look great. Come on. Should I call it a ruckus so like you can't wear a hat? I mean... I mean, I look the best. There you go. What a way to start the college basketball season. Oh, that's bad luck, you moron. What? Penny? Bad luck. Why? It's on tails? Yes. You want it on heads? You can't touch it. Don't even look I at it again. It. Don't look at it. How happy are you that we're not going, honestly? What do you mean, you're coming? No, no like, actually to the games. No, I mean, you guys coming is coming. What's up, Jay? How you doing? How's it going? Good, oh, Duke. Let's go, Jay. <laughs> Duke might win by a billion. Who is that? Oh, oh shit! I, I mean, they're gonna beat the shit out. Oh, okay. For uh, oh, for Atlanta. For Atlanta. Yeah. Thanks. Good team. Jake, Jake, tell us what happened right there. That is Dan Schulman. He's calling the doubleheader tonight with uh, Jay Billis. Just saw him on the street. His son actually goes to Syracuse. He's in the same radio program that I was in. And I met him when I called the Jimmy V Classic four years ago. And here we are, both covering the game tonight. Look at this, MSG in the background. I'm going to bed. So much money on Duke now. You got to sign right there. Sign seeing you, Jay Billis. You kidding me? He's a Duke guy. Come on. Look at this. I do not belong here. I understand why journalists get upset with this. <laughs> I like to go on a lot better when it was a, it was a hole. They redid it, loses its award. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Alright. Enjoy the bridge, alright? Here we go. They got food in here? They got food? That was a, he, he cowers every time. So I, I, are those two people? I don't give a shit. For those unfamiliar with what's going on, Rico has been just tweeting at Seth Greenberg year after year after year, and he just had a chance to ask him a question in person, and he just kept quiet. It wasn't really a fucking. All right. Never gonna get back in there. You're scared of heights. You cannot watch a game here. It is scary.
So the Michigan State one is a little weird because it's fucking yeah, four pages. Like they're like clearly the what they get tired of printing it. I mean, look at this. Compared to the that's Michigan State and these are the other three. If I see Coach K, I'll cut myself. I can't help myself. I don't think it, you think he's around. Not for you. Not for people like me and you around here. Marty, who was that? What? Who was that? Marty, what do you think? I feel like you're kind of shocked right now. Well, because I just know I should not be allowed here. <laughs> I'm like, usually when I'm doing this, I'm trying to sneak in. And I don't know, like, what? All right, we made it. Opening night, Champions Classic. Kansas, Michigan State, Duke, Kentucky. These guys, they're members of the media for the very first time. I can see their faces, you're just in shock right now. I don't feel it. I'm usually trying to sneak up, but now I got a pass, it's not good. If you have a journalism degree, burn it, because <laughs> we just ruined it. Did I earn it? Did I earn it? No, you didn't earn shit. How we earned earned shit. How we earned shit. So here's step number one of Rico relationships in real life. He's been DMing Mitch Lightfoot of Kansas, the fifth, sixth year player. And we have Kansas warming up right here. Can Rico dap him up? And look at that on oh, on yeah. the man. Oh, it oh, worked oh, out perfectly. Good. 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 For the record. What? High school. High school? Super 6, 2005. Also. Martin Luther King Day weekend. We played, lost at the buzzer, and then I went out and clubbed it up in the city. It's a great night. At, at 18 years old? Teen night. <laughs> Not teen tour, teen night. <laughs> also, I could have wore a fucking sweatpants this Oh, without Not a doubt. Not sweatpants. Media dresses like fucking I wore that. The, people, the guy walked in had a sweatshirt on jeans. Yeah, yeah they're trash. Not Media sweatpants. Trash. Yeah, you don't want to look like a schmuck. So where the Overs Club tie? I should have worn that, yes. Where is your Overs Club tie? I have it. You didn't bet it, right? No, I did. <laughs> you fucking talking about it. I won that, I earned that shit. got the ball. No! The pressure got to I didn't want to get to him. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. I was gonna throw it and then the guy got in the one minute in the head. Now I'm sweating. Shit. Alright, these guys gotta head over to Hoboken to responsibly bet on opening night. I'll be staying here at the big J. Who's calling Jake a psycho? <laughs> <laughs> I've been calm and collected. But these guys aren't interested in doing a formal closing shot, so. Look at, look at that, Coach K, this is, this. I, if I was here for Coach K, I might cry. All right, so Rico has an obsession with the scorekeeper, the Dactronics. We're gonna go up and see if Rico approves of the machinery that they're using here in the garden. Today. Probably a complicated board. Check it out. These two are nuts. Like, it's exhausting to work with these two. He's never, never seen this one before. I, can't, I couldn't do it. I could, if, if, I can only fuck with Dactronics. I don't even know what they're running. Where is it? What's wrong with it? It's too complicated. So if Someone's you were, washed up in the school. No, nah, I mean, I haven't made the big time. So if you were called up and asked to do the clock for this Couldn't game, you would say no. Couldn't do it. No We'd shot. have a lot of errors. I'll tell you that much. But a lot of errors. Give me my Dactronics. Tough, tough day. I, I fumbled the ball. He couldn't ask Greenberg nothing. He doesn't even know how to do his own fucking scoreboard. Brutal. Brutal. We had one win. Mitch Lightfoot said hello. <laughs> 
Why are you going in there? Uh, fuck them. I would, tell, I would tell Brad to go fuck himself tonight. He's n Brad is nobody oh, to me tonight. Like Duke mm -hmm. may not lose the game, just letting everyone know. They're not in the building yet for game one, but they might not lose the game, according to Barker. They're not going. I would jerk off Coach Kelly. Let us know. Yeah. 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 You staying here? All right, so I'm on my own now. Marty and Rico, the gambling guys they are, they're off to Hoboken to hopefully pick some winners out in New Jersey. And I am the big J of the group, so on to press row we go here at uh, MSG. All right, we're located in our seat. We're center court-ish. I approve. I'm fortunate enough to be here. I'm not going to complain. Something I'm also not going to complain about is the free press food. So here's what we got today. We got a turkey sandwich. Don't want to risk anything with the stomach. I got a pretty sensitive stomach. Got a long night here at MSG. Pretzels, an apple. And I think this is an oatmeal raisin cookie, which is perfect. I love oatmeal raisin. So we're all settled in here. Look at this seat. Look at that. There's the court right there. We're about 45 minutes away from tip-off. It's Michigan State. It's Kansas. Opening night, MSG. So exciting. All right, it's halftime. Kansas, Michigan State. Kentucky's warming up right here. Presentation. I direct your attention to the center of the court for a special presentation on behalf of ESPN and ESPN events. Tonight will be Coach Mike Krzyzewski's 11th and final appearance in the State Farm Champions Classic. I assume he's going to come back this way to walk out. Good luck tonight, Coach. When you're a big J, you gotta take advantage of every little opportunity. Not gonna ask him any questions yet. That's for later, but That's there he pod. is. That's for the pod, yes. All right, game one of the Champions Classic in the books. Kansas takes care of business, 87-74 over Michigan State. Kansas State covers, or Kansas covers the four and a half, and the over hits. What a game. I don't know that the Duke fans yapping at someone for something in the beer line. Go, Jake. Oh, I mean, look at this beer line right now. Uh-oh. We'll see. I mean, it's Kentucky and Duke. These teams don't like each other. And then when you add the fact, a jam-packed beer line, you don't want to miss the beginning of the second half. The tensions are going to race. Let's go! How's everything? Everything is great. Better not see you. How's What's up? Everything's good. Yeah, Rico and Mario are here earlier. They believe me. They left? Yeah, they had some gambling streams. Hey, how's it going? I'm Kevin. What's going on, Kevin? Producer. How are you? Nice to meet John, you. am I on camera? Yeah, yeah, sorry. We're doing like a vlog uh, yeah. for like the whole All right, well, night. hold on. Let me get Rico and Marty. What the hell are you doing? Booking it during Duke, Kentucky. It's inexcusable, unacceptable. That's being on the wrong side of the bubble on night one. 79-71, Duke over Kentucky. Chapter one of the Coach K farewell tour. A success for Duke. Marty's happy, Rico's happy. I was gonna be happy regardless because this is an awesome atmosphere. It felt like March from start to finish the whole night, but especially in this game, Coach K, Coach Cal, Duke, Kentucky, epic night. On to the press conference.
Coach, with this potentially being your final meeting with Coach Krzyzewski. No, 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 no. We're open one more, more, but go ahead. In that case, what will you remember about your battles against him? Um, well, I remember one where we got beat so bad that I told the guys in the last five minutes, if anybody fouls or stops this clock, you're <laughs> finding your own way home. I want me out of this building in seven minutes. And then the other time, Tyler Eulis just totally dominated the game and we beat him. I, we may have beat him a couple times. I don't know. You'd have to tell me. I know we beat him with Tyler Eulis. So may have beaten him another time too. But you know that you're going to have a well-coached team. Um, his players are going to want to win the game. So are mine. And that's why you have this kind of game. He said to me after, this is like a postseason game. So, uh, but we, the, the coaches, I don't know if they, you, you, we got them up. We got the three coaches together because none of us were going to be able to do anything here, so we did a Zoom call. And Bill Self said, Ken, why don't you get us a bottle of Pappy for them and we'll all chip in, which they didn't chip in, just so you know. <laughs> so we got them a bottle of Pappy. Do you guys know what that Pappy Ben Winkle? We got people that don't know what this one. Well, look it up. Okay. I said when we gave it to him, it was if you don't drink bourbon, and I knew he didn't, but if you don't drink bourbon, you save this, and when I retire, you give it back to me. <laughs> he came up to me prior to the game and said, My daughter saw this and said, You can't get this. And I knew he didn't know. He was like, Yeah, nice bottle. Pour it out. You know. <laughs> but, uh, and I would have done the same, let's, but now I live in Kentucky, so I know what bourbon is, but, and I need some bourbon right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hey, the press, after a tough loss.